Hello and welcome to Wilson's Barbecue. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to make Texas style turkey breast. If you haven't seen my uh, Franklin Barbecue entire menu cook, um, I'll put a link to it just up here. Go and watch it. I cooked these turkey breasts in that video, so this is very much similar to what they serve at Franklin Barbecue and a number of places around Texas. It's just two giant turkey breasts. I'm gonna remove the skin. Um, I'm gonna season them up with two parts pepper to one part salt using the Texas AF rub from Good Rub, uh, which is the rub that I use for all of my uh, Texas style barbecue. So let's get them trimmed up. So as you can see, um, absolutely monstrous sized turkey breast. Uh, they've got the skin on. So what we're gonna do is take the skin off and these will easily separate. Just find the seam. There's one of the breasts, it's absolutely huge. Um, I'll do the same to this one, but I won't show you that. Uh, I'm just gonna cut off any bits that are hanging out. So there we go, there's our turkey breast, one of them. Um, trimmed up nicely, uh, cut any nasty bits off, bits of fat, bits of uh, kind of um, veins hanging off, um, and it's pretty much ready to go. If the surface is nice and tacky and moist, and this is because it's just come out of the fridge, I'm just not gonna use a binder because I don't need it. I'm gonna be using the Good Rub Texas AF as always, but I'm also gonna be adding in another part of black pepper. That's one turkey breast rubbed and ready to go. Texas size, Texas style turkey breasts. Uh, we're gonna take them out onto the offset smoker, the Cactus Jack from Pro Smoke. We're gonna be running at about 270 Fahrenheit over some nice oak. Just to summarize, turkey breasts are rolling roll at about 260 to 270 Fahrenheit, and we're just gonna cook them until they got a real nice golden color on the top. I put a water pan in, and I'm, all, I'm also possibly gonna spritz with uh, apple cider vinegar and water if the surface starts to get too dry. Once they've got that nice golden color, we're gonna wrap them in tin foil with some butter. So let's just keep an eye on the temperatures. So at this point, these have been on for about two and a half hours. They got all the color I wanted, uh, and that's all I was really going for during this stage. So I'm gonna take them off, uh, give them a spritz first, and take them for a wrap. And what we're gonna do now is, I've got four pieces of, uh, four little squares of unsalted butter. So we put the two pieces of butter like that. We put <coughs> turkey, old, skin side down, so the side where the skin used to be. We've got our turkey breast ready to go back onto the pit. I'll do the same to the other one now. We'll insert a temperature probe, and when the internal of the thickest part hits around 160 to 165, these are gonna be done. So my alarm went off to tell me that the internal hit 160 Fahrenheit, so I was just checking these uh, additionally with my Therma pen. One of them was done, so I took that one off, and the other one I just let go for another 10 minutes. So we've just taken these off the pit. They registered 160 Fahrenheit internally in the thickest part, so now we're just gonna rest them for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, and we'll slice into them. Right, so the turkey has cooled down to 145 Fahrenheit, uh, if you don't like me using Fahrenheit, then just go onto Google and use converter. It's how I do it, so get over it. Um, let's get this open. So there we go, there's the turkey. Pretty simple. I switched knives, because. This is much better, this is my brisket knife. So that is incredible. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little bit of a smoke ring 
Um, you can see a bit of pink just around here um, and then white in the center. It's super juicy. That is awesome. Let's see how it is. That. You see that? Turkey is normally pretty dry. But this super juicy. That is so good. That is the best way to cook turkey without a doubt. 100%. See the crust on there. It just falls apart. But still still holds its structure. Ooh. That's what you want. Give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me. Uh, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram. Do all those things. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks for another video.